be a rookie tight end? Uh, in terms of schoolmaker? Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we got behind the eight ball a little bit um, in the offseason uh, with the injury. Um, but, you know, since he's been able to get back on the grass, uh, he's, you know, continually gotten better. Some of the things that we've been emphasizing uh, in the run game, you know, is, you know, playing with a little bit more play strength and uh, in the passing game, just being more decisive. Um, so we continue to work on that. And then also, you know, just the ball skills and uh, rackability. So um, he's, he's progressing. Um, hadn't had a ton of production. He's had some opportunities for some production in the passing game, obviously, as we all know. Um, but, you know, at some point in time down, down in the near future, we're hoping to make some hay on some of the stuff that we've been working on with him. How do you feel Ferguson's evolving into that role as your your primary guy in, in the grouping, and, and where is he now in his development? Uh, he, he's Ferguson's done a uh, heck of a job um, handling um, the responsibility, uh, preparing himself to get to this point, um, and then with some of the success he's had uh, in the passing game, um, he's handling it very well. Uh, every day he's coming in, continuing to work hard um, on the field and off the field in meetings and. Um, He's, he's doing, doing a nice job, doing some things um, that we call like sleep money, meaning, hey, you know, behind the scenes, you know, in terms of with protections um, over these past couple of weeks, um, being available for us on that aspect. So um, he's handling it very well. I like where he's at. Not satisfied where we're at, um, obviously, but um, he's handling it very well and uh, look forward for this next half of the season uh, for him and the group. We, we often hear tight ends are a quarterback's best friend. How, how, how much is Dak involved with Ferguson's development and, and kind of just where really any of your tight ends and, and how he yeah. wants them to be where they want to be. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, when on most snaps, um, you know, the tight ends is the closest guy to the quarterback uh, pre-snap. So um, being being there, being available, Dak has done a phenomenal job with those guys. Um, um, talking with them, actually coming to some of our meetings, uh, a weekly meeting that we have on Saturday morning early, um, sharing nuggets in terms of what he sees uh, for that room. Because the room is young and talented, uh, but Dak's involvement uh, has been very good for those young guys, um, showing how, really showing them um, what he's thinking, but even more so showing them that he sees them. Um, so that's been that's been encouraging for the room. That kind of gets them a little bit excited, having him come to some of our meetings and talking with them. Is this the first year that he's been doing that, coming on Saturday morning? Yeah, yeah. So this first year, because you know the past couple years you had Dalton, yeah. so we went to their meeting room. Um, I would take Dalton over there, but this year. Um, Dak has came over to ours, so that's been great for for the guys. So it's something that we've done all the time, just trying to make sure the conversation uh, between the two rooms are encouraged and continue to go. Because at the end of the day, how those guys communicate, uh, it's like babies talking to babies. You know, nobody else needs to really understand it, but as long as they understand it, <laughs> then it's all good. You talk about how you not saying that they babies. <laughs> <laughs> You talk about how young the room is. When yeah. you're when you're showing those guys and trying to grow their game, do you show them other players from the past or in the league yeah. right now, or how do you how do you work the film with them? So uh, off season, yes. Um, in season, uh, we primarily focus on they see they see the other guys on what we call our Wednesday tape. I um, mean, it's a tape that I put together of the upcoming opponent, so you get some cross-reference uh, looks at the other tight ends um, on them. Not necessarily just all great plays, but they have some plays that we call Sam Sausage plays on there too, you know, things of what not to do. So um, they get it, they pick that up on Wednesday tapes. You, you do have a young tight ends room, obviously, yep. but uh, one that doesn't necessarily fall in that category is Sean. Mm -hmm. You've coached Sean multiple seasons now, and now during the transition from Schultz to Jake Ferguson. Yep. Well, what's the importance of having him as kind of like that stabilizer for stabilizing force in the, in the tight ends room? Very important. You know, um, Sean, year four, uh, you know, he's evolved, evolved from, you know, being a guy that, you know, you can depend on. Um, he's reliable. Uh, we always talk about our room in our room being accountable. Um, being available and being a reliable uh, AAR. So he's that type of guy, you know, um, for us. Um, his leadership has been great. Um, again, he's not a big vocal guy, but he's a guy that just stays steady, you know, doing things the right way, being where he's supposed to be at, um, and being coachable. So um, Lerone is in a good spot. When Can it you comes talk to physicality, mm -hmm. what is your message to the room and trying to set the tone early in the game? Uh, again, you know, it's football, and guys have to be physical in this game and uh, you know we're not out there to be a tackling dummy we're not out there to be a blocking pad you know we have to get after guys and, and set it uh, the tempo 
between the white lines because, you know, a lot of times we talk about in our room, hey, having great energy. Energy is great, right? It's just solid, dope, right? But if the energy is not showing up between the white lines, meaning the way that you play the game on a high level, right, with effort, I don't care if you missed the block, didn't make the catch, again, we're moving forward, right, and being, having great energy. So that's an emphasis throughout the team. Um, and that's also an emphasis in our room in terms of our energy because sometimes you guys know it, you will make plays, right, if you give effort and energy. And again, you, we saw that, you know, Sean and uh, Scooney on the one play a couple weeks ago where the ball hits the turf and boom, you're right there to recover, you know, and that, you know, you got you to you play with great energy and be physical. How do you feel like they've lived up to that mentality throughout the year? Again, I, I like where we're at. But I'm not satisfied where we're at. We got more to give, and uh, you know, this is this break has hit this room, this team at the right point. I can only speak for this room. It has really hit this room at the right point with it being a young team, young room. You know, six games in, now you get a break. All right, take a take a deep breath um, and look forward for these guys coming back up here on Monday, bright eyed, bushy tails, and ready to go to work. The room's got quite a few drops. Which mm -hmm. is, we don't see that normally. Yeah. Out of group. You have, how would you attribute some of those drops to? Do you have the, the, the exact number on it? Pro Football Reference has six, six. amongst the group. Oh, six amongst six, the group. Six amongst the group. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, uh, opportunity to make plays and we got to be better. You know, uh, we drill it. Um, and like I always tell the guys, hey, it's nothing that, that, that I'm going to ask you to do that we're not working. So we're working on it. We, we, we've been working on it, being intentional with it. Um, and at the end of the day, we just got to do it when the opportunity presents itself, you know. And uh, the ones we had, obviously, we had a couple in the New York game. Um, again, uh, raining game, right? But again, in my mind, hey, you guys come to practice, right? We do wet ball drills, so uh, when we play outside, so um, putting a stamp on why can't say why, but I can tell you when we do catch it. You know, the other ones we did catch. You know, we we own them all. We own the drops and we own the catches. So. How many talk drops about? do you have your group for, and how do you determine what's a drop and what? Uh, and I'm, drop? I don't have the exact number, right? Because again, you know, I kind of keep moving forward. Because one thing about it, you know, um, you know, I want to say might have five, maybe five. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna, I don't keep many receipts on those, but um, <laughs> um, you know, we just got to keep, just got to keep getting attempts at the plate, you know, and and, and keep making up, make the catches when they come to come our way. How important is it that when you do have, when they do have those drops, Dak keep, seems to keep going back to when we saw mm -hmm. Schoolmaker have one in the end zone, yeah, hand a shot as well. Uh, how important is it that he keeps going? Oh yeah, I mean, you just got to turn the page. Just like when you again, like I always say, you, you got to own 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 the success and own the failures. You know, we we own those drops, but then hey, keep going forward. Hey, you got to own the next opportunity. So mentally, all right, you got to stay locked in. Um, keep being intentional. Uh, with what you're doing in terms of the drill work, um, taking the drill work to game day. And that's, again, that's that's the formula for us. I mean, it, it ain't changing, you know, and we're not going to stop doing what we're doing. Maybe be, make a tweak to make it be a little bit more intentional, but uh, the process is the process. And, uh, again, on, 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 on the success, you know, we, 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 we had some success. But damn it, we're going to own those failures too now. So. Jake was already a solid route runner, um, yep. just as he was a solid blocker, but you see him taking an, another step in his mm -hmm. blocking game. Um, route running, though, I mean, even when he's not targeted, he's he's getting open yeah. at a high rate. Um, yep. Is that because you're seeing him put that much more emphasis in it this year just as the energy he's putting into upgrading his blocking? Again, you know, coming into the year, I talked about being young, and, and you never, you're not going to get uh, become a veteran or become older um, until you actually get between the white lines on game day. So I you know, contribute that to, again, his hard work that he does on the field and off the field, but then also just those game reps. You never can really, you, you never can simulate those game reps until then those stadiums, you know, 80 some thousand people in there um, and actually playing between the white lines. So I contributed to now he's getting the experience in those reps. And the same thing with Scooney. I mean, Scooney goes from not having any off season to now getting, you know, 30 plays, 17 plays this last week, gets the game kind of played a little bit different, but uh, that experience, I think, is going to help uh, this room in the near future during the back half of the room, um, during the back half of the season. Because I always say, hey, you know, we're going to play our best ball in December and January. And that's what we build for, you know, um, just to continue to be steady and not be up and down.
How much of that off-season work that your tight ends did with Dak kind of transpired to what you've seen so far? A lot of it, yeah. They, it, it all pay, play, pays dividends um, to what goes on um, right now. Um, like I tell them, hey, the stuff that we did early on in the off-season gets you to this point, right? But then now, once you're at this point, now we got to keep going and, and, and really emphasize and get it done on game day. And, uh, you know, they all, they all pay plays for, uh, dividends, you know. It's like an onion. You got layers. You know, you got at least one piece of the layer. Thanks.